Hello everyone. Let's now have a look at how we can help you manage your project requests. You can create requests from emails. For example, sending an email to request at the rate company.com can automatically create requests in Soloxis. You can also set up web forms hosted on your website that can create requests. You can import requests from spreadsheets, attach a variety of custom fields, set up a workflow if there are different people who would be working on project requests. Automatically score requests based on your business KPIs. And lastly, perform what if analysis to determine the project feasibility. Let's now have a look at our project requests. Under applications, going to project requests. Here you can see the list of all the project requests along with some fields like the objective, the budget, and risk. I've set up these fields for the demo. All these fields are customizable. You can also delete them and create your own. This last column, score, is interesting. Its value is calculated dynamically based on other fields using an Excel-like formula. Let's have a quick look at that. This is a simple formula that computes the score of a request. Let's say the score initially of each request is set at 50. Then, if the objective of the request is strategic, then we add 20 points to the score because we want to encourage strategic projects. Next is the budget. If the budget is more than 5 million, then we deduct 10 points from the score because we want to discourage high budget projects. However, if the budget is less than 1 million, we add 10. And lastly, the risk. If the risk is low, then we add 10 to the score. However, if the project is risky, then we deduct 20 points. This becomes the final score of the request. This was simple. However, you can make it as sophisticated as you need. Let's have a look at a certain project request in detail. Here, you can see the workflow for the project request. The request moves from feasibility check to proposal preparation and so on before being finally approved. This workflow is fully customizable. Here, you can see all the request attributes. And down here, you can see its history. You can also collaborate with others by adding comments and uploading files. Now, let's look at how to actually select projects using our What If Analysis tool. You can do the What If Analysis to help you select requests that match your margin requirements, your budget constraints, the resource capacity, and also your custom KPIs. There are three steps in doing the what-if analysis. You must first create a high-level project plan for your request. Then configure your thresholds. For example, you can set the project margin threshold to 40%. And if you select projects that cause your potential margins to drop below this value, you will be alerted. Then you can select projects and check its effects. You can continue this process till you're satisfied with the results. Let's now see this in action. Let's go to the What If Analysis dashboard. Here, you can see all the project requests and our two KPI widgets, one for budget and the other one for margin. As mentioned earlier, you can also add your own KPIs. And at the bottom here, we can see the future available capacity by job roles. Now, let's select some projects and see what happens. Let's select these three and change the state to what if. Let's now refresh the dashboard. We can see that it's not good as the budget has been exceeded 
the margin also has dropped below our threshold value also we do not have the capacity to execute these project requests as can be seen from these red cells we need to change something so let's change the state of this project for example put it back to request and let's select another request let's say the professional services and refresh the dashboard again this looks good as the budget seems okay the margin too and we also have the capacity to execute these project requests to accept these requests you move them to a state of your choosing here i am going to move them to the draft state so that's how you do the what if analysis